What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. Oh. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to try and get on some big fish, but my buddy Cody behind the camera today, we got a filmer for y'all, is asking me a great question, and it is, do I actually make some videos kind of also helping my viewers if they want to start their own maybe fishing channel or build an Instagram page for yourself? Uh, thank you guys so much for the support on Instagram, by the way. If you're not following, we just hit 100,000 followers. So appreciative of all the support. And I was just letting them know that, yes, I put out a couple videos like that in the past, maybe like what camera is the best, how to work on your thumbnails, even the editing process. Uh, I'll drop some of those down in the description, but if you'd like to see more of that content, let us know down in the description. But what we have on the agenda for today is the John Boat Man. We're gonna be trying to catch some big fish. We're headed to a big fish pond. Just cut to the next shit. the ramp we've got to uh, plug up unstrap the trolling motor is held down right here keep her locked the uh, strap oh yeah take that bad boy off I have found I found you don't want to step on this right because it's like yeah it'll just it'll just hit the tire so you got to kind of jump in the boat got that new dangler merch ladies and gents check them out in the description stock up get you about 30 of these things because you know you're going to shrink some in the dryer dogs probably going to eat a few you might lose some in the water you might be like me and just uh need 30 so got them for you in the description ready to rock i'm in here because that rod's a little bit more fragile so because it's uh that that uh here, so yep, bring it a little bit closer. Yep, that's a very good fish, dude. That's a freaking solid one, bro. That's freaking solid. That's exactly what I was talking about. This is like a two and a half pounder right here. So respectable. Fuck, here, hold on, let me get a picture. I gotta get the one down. Roll, fucking roll. Go, go. This might be my chance, bro. This is it. We got him. Oh, that's what. That's why you want the pliers right there. Uh, let me see. Cody's hitting y'all with the secrets, man. They don't know about the twist of the cable right here, so you don't get your butt end of your rod to steal that cable. Oh, fucking don't add that audio. On um, the cuss words, I bleep them out. Okay. Like, it's fine if we say, we can say all of it we want, and it's cool to even almost have the beeps in there, but I usually bleep it out. Um, if there's a, a couple, it's fine, but like, uh, if there's none of it, it could be just better for, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a fish, oh fuck! Broke me off, dude. Oh, no, he just oh, got, oh. He it's because he's got the lure in his mouth. He's going to try and get rid of it. Dude, we could catch him. Do we have the net? I don't know if we have the net. We don't have the net. Oh, the little fish. He shook the lure because he only hopped twice. So what happened is he like he's going like this, and on that second jump, he, he I saw the bait. I saw like the little flash of it sink. So literally, he just got that bait out of his mouth and like swam away now. Oh, so shit. the bait just like went down like, to the bottom. Why does he keep coming out the yep. water? No, it's because he had the hook in his mouth still. Because okay. what happened is I set the hook. I, I went like this and it broke because the line was frayed oh. from earlier when I was going in those trees over there. So well, what that means is like sometimes you'll rub up against something and it like it ruins the qual uh, the rigidity, well, the integrity of the line. Oh, there we go, my first one. My first one that might get landed. It's not even big. Wow! Cody! Cody! There was no fish on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. <laughs> no. Doing the work for me, man. <laughs> yep. 
So guys, we're getting on numbers, but I told Cody, uh, in order to catch a big one, we might need to switch it up. Maybe the big ones are keying in on something a little bit different. We could throw a Texas rig in here. We could throw just a different style swim bait, something bigger, and maybe get a big one's attention. Maybe they're hanging out a little bit deeper, uh, but for sure, it's always fun catching numbers. So we're gonna continue throwing the cranks, and I'm sure after we sift through some numbers, we're gonna find those big. So we're just working down the bank line here. So we're just working down the bank uh, next to these reeds where they're definitely keyed in on, and I think, just give us some time and we gonna catch you a big one. Yeah, you got you. Yep, yep, yep. That's number four. That's number four, bro. Oh, I thought we were almost doubled up. He's, okay, he's not. All right, y'all, well, Cody is uh, literally showing us what's up, but he wanted to get behind the camera for this one to show off his catch. This is a two, two and a half right there. We're gonna try and get him something even bigger, but now my rod and, but now I'm, fuck me. <laughs> But now I'm getting back in the game. The YouTube video is posted. Thank you guys for watching this one, by the way. Drop a thousand likes on this bad boy for Cody Ray behind the camera. We're gonna get his fish back in the water real quick and try and link up with some more and even catch some bigger. <laughs> Great question. I don't even, I, you know, you get so caught up in fishing all the time that you don't really talk about the colors left and right. But uh, I was gonna tell Cody that, because he, he handed me this bag right here and he's like, is this the bag you want? And I was like, yeah, that's a good color. And so he said, what does the colors mean, right? And it's like, this Bama bug, it's kind of darker with a little bit of flash. And so this water clarity here, you can see it's nice. It's not like chocolate milk and super stained where there's no visibility, but it's not crystal clear either. And a lot of times those darker colors really stand out and the fish can kind of key in on that silhouette a little bit better when the water is not crystal clear. So something like these dark purples mixed with a little natural green is great for this clarity. But let me see what other... But here we go, this is like very common for that clear water, you guys. I believe this is just gonna be your green pumpkin, yeah. Just kinda like that standard green, very natural color. This is the type of stuff that you wanna be throwing in the clear water, right? This, that is gonna get the job done. But like I say, when it's a little less clear, you wanna break out something that's gonna pop for those fish a little bit more. Here's a perfect example. This is what you'll throw when the water is real stained. It could work in water like this too. Of course, this is the black and blue color, guys. So this is what people often revert to when the water is quite stained and you don't have the best visibility. They might throw just a straight up crack and crawl Texas rig like I caught that last fish on, or they might even like put it on the back of a jig, things of that nature, and fish it that way. But so, usually those darker colors in the stained water, more natural greens in the clear water, and you've even got those like shad, chartreuse colors and stuff on a lot of your hard baits, and you'll throw that when it's just really stained. So you're talking about when it's chocolate milk and you literally can't see. So, we're gonna tie this crack and crawl on in the Bama Bug color. And He's good, he's good, he's good. He's all right. I'm gonna just get him in the boat. Nice, guys. There, right here. Woohoo! He's been slinging the crankbait, man. But the T rig just got us a good one out there in the trees. A little bit more depth. I think that's where the big ones are hanging out. And uh, believe it or not, we were unhooking his fish. And so we doubled up. <laughs> Size comparison probably a three quarter to one pounder. Let him go. And that uh, very well could be a three and a half, 3.75, going on four pounds, but that's that's pushing it, that's, pr that's pushing it. 340, so that is, uh, that is 40 one hundredths. It's not reading ounces, obviously, so that would be like six pounds or something like that. So, about a three and a half pounder, man. Texas rigged crack and crawl, switched up to that Bama bug, got lucky. Woo! Feels good to crank a nice fish out of this little spot right here on the John Boat with Cody for his first time behind the camera, y'all. Again, drop a like for him. Let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water. Catch some more. I caught a fish by hand! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! He said, peace! What a crazy day. First day out, 
with Cody on the channel. No, he's been out with us one time before, a long time ago, fishing off the banks. But today on the John Boat, absolute experience, man. The weather has been fantastic. We've been loving the spring bite. We started off with me trying to hunt for some on the crankbait, couldn't secure the deal. Then Cody ends up getting the first three right off the bat. Whooped out the Texas rig, got a nice three and a half, and just having an absolute blast, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and drop that like, hit the subscribe notification bell, you know the deal. And we'll catch y'all on the next episode on the Weston Smith channel, y'all. Peace!